everyone. Well, I wasn't going to give you a video today, to be honest, but uh, I thought I'd show you this while you can still buy it yourself. It's now the 11th of April 2018, so you are actually seeing this video on the day it was filmed, which is very unusual for one of my videos. Often it could be a year or two sometimes before you see a video. In fact, I've got one coming up in a couple of weeks that I must have filmed two years ago because it's with my old camera. So it doesn't sound or look very good at all. But anyway, this is being filmed with my latest camera and this is the latest vacuum I've bought. Now I'm only telling you about this because it is a discontinued model as far as I know. And I got this from eBay. Now a lot of manufacturers have eBay outlet stores, which have obviously you know about the Dyson one because I've bought refurbished Dysons. Um, but Shark, also in the UK and possibly other countries, you'll have to check your local eBay, but Shark have an outlet store under the name Shark Clean and they sell some Shark Uprights. You could, currently you can buy a Shark Upright from $79.99 and stick vacuums, mains powered stick vacuums, I think they start at $79.99 as well. So uh, quite a good price for a Shark. This was a good price. This is just a handheld, a mains handheld. This was $49.99 delivered and it came very quickly. It has a five year guarantee. So this is based on the earlier rocket, the orange one that I unboxed and demonstrated on my channel a while ago. This is just the handheld unit, but it's, you know, even if you buy it through, through eBay, you're still getting the same consumer rights and everything. So this is model HV292UK. You'll probably be able to get a similar one in the US of A. Now I like this one because it comes with some tools, extra tools which are ideal for cleaning out the car. But of course, you can use this handheld vac all around the home as well. And being mains powered, of course, you're not having to worry about the battery going flat before you've finished cleaning. So we get a nice tool storage bag here. Just a small one, but that's enough to put all your small tools in. And this detail hose, which is very useful. Now it's not only useful in the car, but it's also useful in the home for, it's quite a nice long hose, for getting into very tiny nooks and crannies and for cleaning, say, electronic equipment. You've got a little slide out brush, which is relatively soft. It's not ultra soft, but that'll be okay if you still use a computer keyboard or a typewriter, that'd be all right for cleaning that. But any, anything like hi-fi equipment, anything like your television that's, you know, if you want to keep the vents clear at the back of dust, ideal for removing that. So it's a useful little tool to have. So you've got the brush, but you can push the brush back and you've got a very slim crevice tool. And that of course fits onto the machine. And it also reduces the suction at the end the suction will be quite concentrated anyway, but there are vents in this, so it's still allowing air, air to flow through. So that's a handy little extra you get with this machine. But you also get, I forgot, to make that even more versatile, you get all these tiny, tiny tools. So excellent, they're almost like toy vacuum tools, but excellent for all your very tiny detailed intricate dusting. So you get another dusting brush, slightly softer than the one on the actual hose. You get a tiny, tiny, look at that, it is tiny, a little crevice tool. Now, often I moan about the length of crevice tools, saying that, well, you're not going to be able to get into all your nooks and crannies, but in the case of this one, you want it to be small. That is minute. Um, and then there's this, which uh, I think that's some sort of adapter. I think, yes, you'd use that on the end of, let's show you. I think that's how it works. Yes, that, and that's how it work, fits on. That adapter is so you can fit all these little tiny tools onto the end. You also get this little angled extension wand. So if you want to get into all those nooks, it's fantastic for that sort of thing. It might actually fit as well. I know sharks sell this hose separately. I think you can buy it on, on the eBay outlet store for about $19.99. It should fit full size shark cleaners as well, but don't quote me on that. So there's all the little tools. So in your car, that's ideal for cleaning, you know, all around your instruments, uh, your buttons and your vents and everything. But 
we do get don't worry folks we do get and shark are very good for this full size tools that is a proper full sized crevice tool and um, it's good and strong so that'll get right down the side of your chairs to pick up those pesky hobnob crumbs Oh yes, and there's another tool I, I really interested. The main reason I bought this, because I've got a handheld like this, but it's also, you know, it's a stick. So I didn't need the main unit, it was for the extra tools. And this is one tool that I've wanted to try out. If it'll let me remove it. Here it is. So this is another additional tool. And again, I think this should fit your full size shark. So if you've got a shark upright and you want a handheld for the car the tools should be interchangeable now this is sort of a very similar Dyson-esque type tool isn't it and the Dyson dusting tool that this is loosely based on is one of my top recommendations for dusting tools for Dysons this is similar the brushes are probably a little bit harder but not much they're still quite soft and you've got a velour red strip but again, it seems a little bit rougher than the Dyson one. Obviously, this is not a Dyson, but Dyson, as we know, have a tool a bit longer than this one. But this one also angles. So that's good. You've got this flexible and it fits. It doesn't sort of, once you've got it in the position, it'll stay in that position. So that's ideal in that position for doing like the tops of your kitchen cabinets, tops of your bookcases and things. But you can angle it in all sorts of different ways for your dusting. I'll try that on my blinds actually, because the Dyson tool, the similar Dyson tool, is excellent for Venetian blinds. So that was another reason why I went for this handheld to have this additional flexible dusting tool. Now, um, there's, there's more tools. Yes, there is. I think just one more tool. And then it's the cleaner itself. So this is basically. It's another full-size tool. Um, you can use that on your upholstery, on your mattress. You could use it on your stairs, I suppose, and on your curtains, but it's a lot wider than a standard sort of upholstery tool. But yes, for mattress cleaning, that would be ideal. Um, don't know if it moves, no, it's fixed. It doesn't twist, so that's a fixed nozzle. But again, it's full-sized nozzle. And finally, the cleaner itself. Now I expect this one, I think it's discontinued. Did I mention that? I'm pretty sure this will be a discontinued model because it's probably noisy compared, certainly compared to the latest, the latest mains powered shark stick fact that you saw me unbox. That's 80 decibels and that seems very, very quiet. I did find my very first rocket, the one with this sort of copper color top, pretty noisy. Obviously this doesn't have the power head and looking at it, mm, I don't know, it does have the socket. I don't know if that's actually live. So it's possible you could fit a power head to that, but I can't really show, show you if it does. I'll check the instructions actually and just see if it's available as an option. But that does look like there is power but that could just be, you know, they might not have wired that up because it's not supplied with any sort of motorized head. So basically, ideal for the car, ideal for your stairs, this, your upholstery. I'll check with the length of cable. I think it's about seven meters. Uh, let's see if it says on the box. I'm sure it said it somewhere. I'll check for you. I'll put the details um, from the eBay listing underneath this video so you can check yourself. But yes, it's based on the old rocket design, so you can't remove the bin, um, which was one of the uh, bugbears I had with the, the first rocket. So to empty it, that will be sticking. There we go. You just have to open it up like that to get at the dirt. The bin is not removable but it's fairly open there, so you can clean around the metal mesh screen in the middle. But yes, it can't be removed, possibly can be removed with a screwdriver, but it doesn't come off easily. It's not really meant to be removed. And you've got your filter at the top here. 
and sharks say clean monthly so you've got your regular sponge and underneath the sponge you've got your sort of felt type dual layer filter there look and yes there are four screws so it would be possible to remove the bin if you needed to give it a proper clean at some stage but depends how fussy you are about how clean you keep your vacuum cleaner so that's that so it's not it's how as i expected it to be just single obviously just one speed motor the motor wattage is 500 watts and um, also yes the final filter here on the back and that again that's your post motor filter and that will be washable so again the filtration doesn't seem as good on this machine as the latest shark stick but you know for 50 pounds i think delivered especially with all the extra tools it comes with it's uh, that's why i went for it i think it's pretty good value of course you can fit the tools directly onto the machine one thing it's lacking though as i'm saying if you want to clean up high there's no sort of extension wand with this so even if you wanted to do the tops of your cupboards with this you may still have to stand on some steps to reach up high depending how tall you are of course but so there you go it's a handheld vacuum but for 50 pounds from ebay from sharks ebay outlet store i think uh you know it seems a good good price to pay especially with its five-year guarantee make sure you register it i'm not sure if you'll have to if you buy it direct from shark but um see if you can register it on their website let's plug it in it's in the off position all right okay noise level it's not that excessive and of course yeah you've got your little micro hose that's that's the selling point for me basically the micro hose and the extra dusting tool because if i was to buy these separate i think the micro hose set is 20 pounds i'm not sure how much this would be at least 10 to 15 so you're talking, you know, 30, 35 pounds just to buy these tools. And for an extra 15, I got the whole cleaner, plus of course the other tools. So um, that's why I went for it. So if you've got lots of nooks and crannies, this I think is especially good. These little brushes, excellent for cleaning your very delicate electronics. Brilliant. Right, well that's it. It was just a quick video to show you. If you want to buy one of these, I paid for this myself I didn't get given it so I'm not plugging plugging it just because I got given it I did pay for it but uh, it's worth checking out if you're after a shark there are pros and cons of shark there are pros and cons of every brand of vacuum I look at but um, you can get quite good deals from Shark's eBay shop which is shark clean especially if you want um, an upright they're one of the basic uprights but they're still pretty good um, for around 79.99 without the powered lift away function but uh, I think you'll find they've cleaned pretty well, even the uh, £80 sharks. If you have any questions or comments about this shark rocket, please comment below. Before I go, though, let's just quickly check. I see if it tells me the uh, cable length and everything. I'll, as I said, I'll put all the details below. There doesn't seem to be an energy label on this machine, or it gets it, or it does. It says it's an A for energy use. So I don't know if there's actual label being a hand vac we've just got a quick start guide here just showing you the micro tool set there and your regular instructions let's just see if it shows the cable length i think it's at least seven meters don't think it's as much as 10 some of these machines did have a 10 meter cable well, I've measured the mains lead and it is approximately 10 meters. So you should have no problem cleaning around the average car or caravan using this Shark Rocket hand vac. At the time of making this video, which is April 2018, you can buy this Shark for $49.99 from Shark Clean on ebay.co.uk. And while you're there, don't forget to check out the other offers on Shark uprights, sticks, steam cleaners and accessories.
If you have any comments or questions about this shark, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, stay tuned because I've got lots of new videos coming up, including demonstrations of the SIBO X7, the Dyson Small Ball, the Vax Slim Vac, and for the first time in quite a while, I've got two new GTEC products to have a look at. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.